Welcome back to PSC Tech Bytes. This week I want to talk with you about the new PMP provisioning engine webhooks that we introduced in Schema 2019-03 and that we implemented in the April release of the engine. Using these webhooks you can be notified of events happening during the provisioning of a provisioning template. The events that we support so far are the provisioning started and provisioning completed, an object handler started and completed, and eventually an exception occurred event. When we uh, provide uh, webhooks uh, notifications, we can also provide uh, custom parameters that you can define when you declare a webhook, and we can call your webhooks synchronously or asynchronously based on your settings. Moreover, whenever you have a webhook and you want to use the get method, the HTTP get method, we will provide all of the parameters in the query string. Meanwhile, if you use the post HTTP method to call your external webhooks, we will use a body format, which can be XML, JSON, or the classic form encoding. So let's move to the demo environment and let's see how to play with the webhooks in the PMP provisioning engine. So here we have uh, a PMP provisioning template, uh, which is based on schema 2019-03. This is actually the Contoso drone landing uh, provisioning template that you can find in the provisioning service as well. Uh, I slightly modified the template to include a couple of uh, additional parameters like the tenant ID and the user principal name, together with the already existing site title and site URL. Well, at the end of this uh, provisioning template, uh, still uh, inside the PMP provisioning template element, I have uh, a provisioning template uh, webhooks uh, section. And in this section, I defined uh, a bunch of webhooks uh, definitions, which first of all target uh, the URL of an Azure function that I created on Microsoft Azure. Uh, to which I provide a unique code for security reasons, as well as I provide a bunch uh, of uh, URL uh, query string parameters, like for example, the site title, the site URL, the tenant ID, and the user principal name that we have as parameter in our uh, provisioning template. And I provide as the value for those parameters uh, a token webhook param uh, tenant ID or site url uh, or whatever is the name of the webhook parameter that I want to have. In fact, inside the webhook definition I can also declare a set of parameters with a name which would be a unique key for those parameters and a value. And actually here I'm just saying that for the site title webhook parameter for example I want to use the value provided for the parameter called site title for my whole uh, provisioning template and the same will happen for all of the other parameters. Moreover, I configured each and every of these webhooks uh, to make an HTTP POST request targeting the URL that I defined right here and I declared that in the POST, uh, HTTP POST, I want to have the body uh, serialized as a JSON message uh, and I want to use a synchronous approach, so async equal false. Last but not least, I define what is the kind of webhook that I want to fire and I want to have a webhook of when the provisioning is started, another one when every object handler provisioning is started or completed, one more when the provisioning is completed and one last if any exception will occur. So if I now go to my Azure function, which is right here, and I enable logging, we can start the provisioning of the template that I just showed you and we will see that on the Azure function side we will see all of the events happening in the event log of our function. So let's do that and let's move to PowerShell where I am already connected to my target environment and I can simply say apply PMP tenant template. I will provide the XML template that we just saw and a bunch of parameters which will be those that we just saw in the uh, provisioning template uh, explanation. So let's try to run this apply PMP tenant template commandlet. Let me put this window just near the other one so that we will be able to see in the console 
all the uh, webhook calls happening in the log window of my Azure function. As soon as the template will start to be applied, you will see, and here we are, that we have a bunch of HTTP method calls uh, targeting our Azure function. And if I focus my attention on this one, we can see that we have, for example, uh, an event, uh, a webhook event uh, for an object handler provisioning completed for the original settings, as well as we have the started one for the same uh, uh, handler, as well as if I scroll up, uh, I have the event for the provisioning started. And step by step, we will have uh, all of the webhooks uh, for all of the events happening uh, in the provisioning. Just to give an eye to the Azure function, here we simply get uh, in a .NET Core based Azure function, we simply get the HTTP request, we read from the query string all the input arguments and we just log them on the log window. But of course, in a real scenario, you can do whatever you like to do. This is a really powerful capability that we introduced in the provisioning engine because you can do external monitoring of your provisioning using a set of external webhooks which can be invoked during the provisioning of your template. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.